So this is your last call for week 10. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week. What is worth picking up from Ada, Zer, and Eververse, just so that way you guys are aware of what's going away. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Rasmussen Clan, dog. You should definitely pick the shader up because I know a few people want to get this shader. Like, it, it looks super cool with the setup that I have now because usually this shader has a really bad yellow. And I'm not talking about the gold. That looks cool. I'm talking about like a literal yellow color. That looks really bad but again when you combine it with certain pieces like for example this right here this looks super fucking cool we have Cairo's gold which yeah man i i love the red i just don't like the yellow i would still say pick it up because if if there is red in there then you can find some armor sets that only have the red just be aware that's going to be really annoying and then war called camo which I'm not the biggest fan of this shader. I think the white is pretty, uh, pretty bad, but the blue is really, really cool. But just be aware there is a yellow. I think it is the red. I think is the off color. If I remember correctly, as for the armor, it's going to be these right here. I definitely would recommend some of the pieces for the hunters and Titans and the warlocks as well for the warlocks specifically. I think the helmet and the chest piece are really, really cool. Definitely worth a pickup. Titans, I'm going to be real with you guys. A lot of the pieces I really hate from this set just because they don't really shader well. That being said, I would still recommend the boots because I have made some really cool sets with the boots. And then for the hunters, I would recommend the chest piece, the arms and the I want to say the helmet. But at the same time, like it's it's whatever. So at this point, I would, I would say the helmet or the chest piece and the arms are definitely worth a pickup. As for Zer, he's in the Whining Cove in the EDZ. He's currently selling the Dead Orbit stuff. For me, the Dead Orbit stuff is really, really cool. It's just unfortunate that a lot of the pieces don't change color. And also the insignia for Dead Orbit doesn't change color as well. So if you like the armor set, like the base design of it, you should just go to Devrin K on the in the EDZ. Actually, he is over here. Just go to Devrin and he can actually just sell you this stuff because I definitely think it's worth a pickup because again, Unless you like Dead Orbit, you could you could pick these up. Just be aware you're going to be fighting the Insignia and a lot of the pieces, like specifically for the Hunters, the helmet, the lines right here do not change color. So like I can literally show you guys right now. Yeah, the white lines do not change color. And there's a lot of pieces like that for the Warlocks and Titans. So I would still say pick these up because it's always good to have backstock of armor. But I just want to tell you right now, that's how it's going to be. As for the weapons, it's going to be Grid Skipper with Tunnel Vision and Multi Kill Clip with a Ranged Masterwork as well. Definitely pick this up just because I think Grid Skipper is definitely worth it. I picked it up because I think it's worth it. Um, Seventh Seraph VY7 with Fourth Times the Charm and Dragonfly. Ignore that. Extraordinary Rendition with Zen Moment and Thresh. Also ignore that. Iklos SRV 1.0.3. Skip this. Soul Survivor. I mean, you can get this now, which is what I would recommend just get something better than this just in case no no thank you but bad omens with field prep and kill clip which i mean you can pick it up if you want i'm definitely not hawkman with opening shot and dead man's tail with outlaw which i mean i would pick up i would pick up hawkman not so much dead man's tail and then for the other stuff it's going to be war cliff coil which i definitely think it's a worth a pickup just because in pvp it's a lot of fun just be aware you have to use it in a certain way uh don't treat it like a rocket launcher treat it more like a shotgun i guess uh wait specifically for me like i'll actually go like run up to someone super duper close not close enough to got, get killed but close enough where the rockets won't like just not hit the target and usually in there so that way the blast radius will actually take the guy down even though the blast radius that is at 25 you'll still be able to kill the guy wins invest with high mobility and if you bump it up to a 21 resilience would be nice that being said, I just think Wins Invest is a terrible exotic. Kepri's Horn with terrible rolls and Winter Giles with terrible rolls as well. If you guys don't have any of these exotics, pe definitely pick them up. Better than better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. But yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for Eververse, we're going to be looking at some shaders because she is selling quite a bit. We have Lion's Pride, which I want to say pick up this shader. It does look really cool. I guess my biggest gripe is just the white color of it. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but like other than that, it looks super dope. We have Vintage Timber, which I also love this shader a lot. It's a really good black and gold. If you can find the pieces for black and gold, 
The reason I say that is because there is an off color to vintage timber, which is white. You guys can see a bit of it right there. Uh, that's like my only biggest gripe about the shader is just the fact that on some armor pieces, there is white and it looks pretty bad. We have, let's see, sudden squall, which I'm not the biggest fan of this ornament considering it's just a shader change. And I also just don't use this exotic at all. So, I mean, if you want it, I guess. We have Scout Zeppelin, which I think is probably one of mo the more unique ships in the game. And I actually do really like it. Would I get it? Probably not just because it doesn't shader well, specifically the hockey doesn't change color and the insignia is not changing or the symbols not changing color doesn't really bother me considering they're actual symbols in the game. Um, and it's symmetrical. It's just that I think it's the hockey that really bugs me. We have bumper boat, which on one hand, I do want to pick this up, but on the other hand, I would never wear it or use it just because I know myself, I'll use it a bit in the beginning and then never use it again. So I would say pick it up, but I'm not going to pick it up. Fin shell, which I don't really give two shits about. And then guardian pride and flag flag on the play for shaders. We have regal daring. I love this shader. This is like one of my favorite shaders in the game. Uh, it has a really good red that you guys can see right there, but the red is really cool. Unfortunately, I think the red is an off color as well, but the main color is going to be white, gold, and black, which is really, really cool. Speaking of white, gold, and black, Grand Luster is also another color. Just the difference is gold is a little bit more in there. And I do like white. I, I like this color quite a bit just because the gold, the purple right here is actually like an embroidery purple, a textured color. So it looks really, really cool. And then vintage timber again this is the same shader we saw up there and then uh pomegranate gloss which is funny considering i made a set with with this shader with this armor set um which i can show you guys at the end of this video so let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i definitely think there's a lot of things worth to pick up definitely a lot of things to pick up i just already have them because i played this game so much um what's the what's oh it's over here it's over here where is it, where is it? <clears throat> nope uh yeah here it is so this is a set that i made with it and then i use pomegranate with it because uh the pomegranate shader actually looks really really cool with the set because pomegranate has a really big thing where th there's a yellow in there and i'm not the biggest fan of it so this yeah this is that this color right here i'm the biggest fan of so this is this is the set that i made i actually have this on it as well so this is the set i made and i think it looks really really cool um yeah, I think it looks really cool. Like, I, there's nothing to say about this. It's just, I think it looks super dope. And this is what this is what I mean when I say pick up the shaders, even though it looks bad right now. You might never know when you have a situation like this where the shader, when it first when I first looked at it with this set, I was like, oh, this looks super cool. And then went into it, try to find some different pieces with it to make it look even better. And now I have this set, which I think looks really cool. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.